Hey guys, Sean C. Phillips here with a total off the cuff Dollar Tree video. A lot of people have been messaging me. I did a live show um, yesterday and everyone was saying, oh, you gotta do another Dollar Tree video. They have new stuff out of the Dollar Tree and I haven't done one in quite a while. It's probably been like, maybe like two or three months, something like that since I've actually done one. So this is always the location that always has the most stuff. It's usually the best one to go to. So fingers crossed, hopefully they have stuff out. I normally would call this one beforehand to see if they have the things out. But this one, like I said, usually is the good one. I know within the last two weeks or so, it seems like the stores have started putting them out again. So like I said, I have not looked in a while now. So fingers crossed, hopefully we'll find some good stuff in here. So let the Dollar Tree, Dollar DVD and Blu-ray hunting video begin. But into the Dollar Tree we go. So this one though, they never put them in the front. This one, I've, I've discovered that. It's like literally, you're never gonna find those in the front in this one. But let's see in here. They're usually always in the same spot back here. And sometimes I've seen them in two spots here. The, well, the one time I was here the last time, they had them on the end cap here and then the actual aisle. So I'm just gonna make sure I'm sure this guy's probably gonna go to the same movies. Let's, let's just wait. But let's see. Oh, it's oh, it's a big disaster. I see boxes, but this is disastrous. This is I, I mean, disastrous. Whoa, this is really, really messy. So, yeah, as they say, like that old expression, "have at it." And uh, so I guess these boxes here are obviously the newest ones. So. These are where we see the new ones. Let's see if there's anything new in here and everything interesting. So let's see, like Canadian bacon, I've definitely have seen that in the past in here. Burning Kiss. See, some of these I know I've seen, straight out of Oakland, 21 and over. I I don't know if I've seen that before. I feel like I've, this is in another language. Is this in, what language is this in? Is this in, I don't know offhand. Is this in Spanish? No, I don't think so. I don't think, I don't know. It's kind of funny. I've never, it's like a really random one in here. Is it the French Canadian version of it? That's just, that's very funny. Earth to Echo, uh, They Reach, this one in here. Let's see, Woman in the Woods. Uh, let's see. These ones are obviously, like I said, have to be the new ones. This one was actually pretty good. This one had, um, it's had a bunch of people in here. The one from Crazy Rich Asians was in here and stuff like that. I, it's crazy though. Once she talked negative about Crazy Rich Asians and like, she like kind of backpedaled about the movie or said something kind of weird, it kind of ruined her career. It's like really crazy. It's like you never say certain things, you know what I mean? When you have like great opportunities and stuff and she just said the wrong thing and it's like, I feel like she hasn't been working much after that, which is kind of sad. She was always good though. Let's see. Uh, Palms, this is, this is, I've never seen this before. This was, I actually like this movie, I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes I like these kind of movies. This was like, um, I think they were all at an old folks home together and they were doing like a cheerleading competition. But I, I like this, like I said, this was actually, if you guys come across this one, that's one I would definitely recommend you guys get. That was actually pretty good. Marlon Flanders, Spy Cat, Feast of Love in here. This one here, Widow's Point. Wasn't this from the director who did, oh yeah, Greg, Gregory Lamberson. He directed the Slime City movies. If you ever saw those ones, he did those ones. Let's see, I'm trying to see if there's any of these that are new that I do not remember seeing in the past. Cause a lot, a lot of these things I definitely have seen. This is a crazy movie, Penance. If you come across this one, this is one I really liked. This has uh, James Zavala's in it, uh, Tony Todd. This was like about this woman they got kidnapped by this crazy guy and stuff like that. It was, this is an intense movie. I remember I used to talk to the director who made this movie a lot. And at one point I remember he was like gonna make a sequel to it and I was like trying to get involved in it, but then I don't think it ended up happening. But I remember like when I first moved out here, I remember talking to him like all the time. Like, so it's, it's just crazy when you think back to certain people that you were like talking to and, and you totally lose contact with. Let's see, anything else in here new? There definitely is some new things mixed in here. And I'll go through some of these things and see. Deadheading, I, I've seen that one before. Let's see, what is this one here? Let's scare Julie. What's this one? Hector and the Search of Happiness. I don't think I've seen this one with Simon Pegg. I've definitely never seen this one before. What is this one? Bar, a bab? Sacrilege. 
here. Merry Christmas, baby. Oh, sicko, Michael Moore movie, documentary, operative, plus one. Astronaut. What's funny is like you could accidentally see him in here if you want. I've seen Richard Dreyfus a lot out here. He like lives in this area, so I've seen him in like Barnes and Noble. It's like kind of kind of funny. Beast mode. That sticker, yeah, it's a Walmart sticker. That's I think one of the Canadian stickers. Let's see, run, encounter, baby Yaga. This one's a um, Scream Factory one. So it's always cool when you see Scream Factory ones. Let's see. Frenzy, Paddington 2, that's a really fun movie. I like that movie, that was actually really good. That's a good one for a dollar in here. Frenzy, Kill Another Day, Trick or Treat, Kill Mode. Let's try and go through some of this, but it's kind of like a, a mixture here of a lot of like random ones. So I see some that are definitely new. Let's try and look through some of this. Like, what is this one? New York, New York. There's Liza Minnelli, Robert De Niro one. This is like one of those ones where they like re-release some of these ones as like budget releases. And I don't even know the company that did it. I guess it's like a form of, of MGM, but they re-released a lot of these ones on DVD. And a lot of them seem like they mainly were released almost for, um, only for, uh, you know, uh, Dollar Trees. Let's see. It's very hard to see all these. Back fork. There might be some good things in here though, because I do see the pirates in here. It's another language one here too for that. Patrick, this is pretty good. This one here. Yeah, I actually like this one. This is, if you come across this one, this is pretty good. Let's see. Foster, Foster Jenkins. Down here's a bunch of stuff. The Raven, Prevenge, The Best of Me, Movie 43. I watched that again recently and I kind of like that in a, in a bad way I'm not gonna lie Thursday some sort of police activity outside let's see St. Agatha lighthouse like I said it's so hard to look under all this stuff but I'm trying to to see the best I can in here let's see take down Burke Mansion. There's a whole bunch of copies of this one. Yeah, the Paul Walker one. Burke Mansion is a bunch of that one. On one, back four. It has a duffel bag. So all these ones here. Like I said, it's really hard. I'm trying the best I can, mainly too, to see any other like Blu-rays. Or like obscure horror ones or stuff mixed and this is like kind of it got so out of control here everything fell this one i like this one if you come across this one the real title for this movie is satanic panic this is the ver version that walmart released because they didn't like the word satanic so they put their own slip cover and just called it panic they haven't seemed to have done that lately with like censoring for a while they used to not even like hell so it's like anytime anything said hell on it they had to censor that so, but they seem like nowadays, I've seen them have movies that say hell on the cover. So they might have gotten over that thing now. I don't know. But that was something that was going on. Yeah, I definitely can't even look under that one. It's too much, too much shite. The barge people, let's see, they reach. Here's one Blu-ray here, Behind the Movement. Never seen this one. Humanity. Luther. This one, I've seen this one since like the beginning of Dollar Trees. This is one of those ones, you know, since they've been having movies, this is like one of those early ones you'd always seen in here. But yeah, nothing that amazing. Like I said, there's some, some of this I couldn't see a little bit of this stuff in here, but for the most part, I went through all this stuff. Let me just make sure there isn't any other spots because sometimes they have like even more overfill down here. So you always just got to make sure I don't want to be like a fool and not look because like I said last time I was here I remember the one time I got really lucky and they put all the boxes out there was like 20 boxes when they just got them in but last time we were here they put them on the end here too but it seems to me though like I said we went through these so I think that's pretty much all the new ones and everything though 
So anyway though guys, that was me my video checking out the latest Dollar Tree to see anything new that they had in there. And like I said, nothing new that amazing this time around that I found. Uh, if you guys go to Dollar Tree though, let me know in the comments below what you guys found. If you guys ended up picking up anything as well. Anyway though guys, like I always say, if you guys enjoy these videos, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and subscribing. I'll see you guys later.